up guys your humble host Picasso thanks for joining and welcome back to another video today guys just a quick tip on how to export your wallpaper projects from the custom uh, live wallpaper maker all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive into custom let's just get it up here we're gonna open wallpaper go to live wallpapers go to custom go to settings and here we are inside the editor so basically when you create whatever you're going to create i'm going to go ahead and just add an image real quick let's go ahead and add an image that there we go like that and let's go ahead and just place it anywhere like so okay so there we have that i'll change the size a little bit like that it's just a regular screenshot hit save then we're gonna go hit this arrow right here we're gonna hit the menu we're gonna go to export preset we're gonna hit export preset you're gonna name it whatever you want to name it I'm gonna name it blah 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 and we have the description you can fill that out if you want or if not I'm gonna name uh, the author test and test at gmail.com just fooling around just like that and then what you're going to do is hit the check mark on top it says saving and there it's been saved now whatever file manager you have I recommend solid Explorer which is one of the best file managers out there um, it definitely beats ES file manager um, so let's see here allow allow I thought I did this already so now if you scroll down whatever file whichever file manager you have you will see this folder this custom folder you're going to go ahead and hit on it and then in wallpapers that's where the zip file is going to be okay so what i'm going to do now is take the zip file out and move it to show that it actually works and i'm going to place it in a different place so here's the now let's go ahead and put it in movies all right so here we go so i'm going to select it i'm going to move it i'm going to cut it from the location so now it's not there okay let's go ahead and switch and uh, load a different preset okay let's load something else let's just load the blur clock let's save it make sure it's on our desktop there it is the blur clock is on our desktop okay so now let's go back to klwp let's see if we can load what we just created exported nothing exported okay see that nothing's there so now what we're gonna do go back to our file manager so when you share the zip file the zip file is going to be like this very easy to share especially if you're using a uh, uh, solid Explorer you can just simply hold on to it until you get it's highlighted then you go up here hit share and you can share via a lot of different ways okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to place it place it it's not going over there oh it's selected that's why let's unselect tap and hold on it come on what's going on is it the next set oh what oh I'm an idiot I'm in movies on both sides okay custom is what we want so here it is where I put it in the location so you download it's gonna be in the download folder you're gonna go ahead and move it over to custom wallpaper so here it is it's highlighted and we're gonna go ahead this will be in the downloads folder so you go ahead and select it drag it over to the wallpaper folder within the custom folder on your internal storage I'm gonna hit move to so it's gonna cut it from one location and paste it in the other so it's no longer there hit back slide back over and now we put it in wallpapers custom so it's internal memory slash custom slash wallpapers okay that's what you do for fonts icons bitmaps uh, components that you download pertaining to klwp you put them in each corresponding folder okay so now let's close this out let's jump back into klwp where is it yeah, there we go and then we we'll basically come out of this it's going to basically refresh so now if we go into load presets go to export it there you have it and you share the file the zip file with anybody and it's very simple tap on it load it hit save and it is now your wallpaper okay so this uh this quick tip was requested okay so here it is and just in case anybody else was having any trouble with exporting and sharing their live wallpapers from custom this will help this is the only way to do it so it will definitely help and i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up really appreciate it it's tech time stay tech until the next one i'll see you i'm your humble castle i'm out peace